What is up, everybody? It's your boy White Bread Thirty One Twenty One here. We're back in episode of Fallout Three. Now I'm still in Great Itch because I want to check something. Last episode or the episode before that, we found a key to William Brand Brandis's uh, something. He said William Brandis's key. So I did want to check that out before we left this place. Let's go ahead and bobby pins, whiskey, wine. Uh, first aid. I don't know if it's to his terminal or what. But, yeah, I just wanted to check it out. Just come upstairs. There's a suitcase. There's a desk. It's a damn stupid radio. Ran his terminal. There we go. There's only three options. Didn't really mess it up. Alright. Navarro? That sounds like some New Vegas crap. Okay. Read it aloud, I guess. I'm going to have to find a better way to protect Shiloh and Will from the from those ants. Ever since Lesko came to town, I'm starting to get more and more aggressive. Wasteland ants are bad enough, but at least you can run away from them. These would seem to pursue you to the ends of the earth if they could. Call me crazy, but I swear I saw one start a fire the other day. I don't know how this could be happening. I've decided to dig up my old sidearm and keep it hidden on me at all times. If those things get too close, I'll blast the attendant right off their ugly heads. Okay, let's skip to the last one. <clears throat> I finally found a quiet place for, for my family. We've been running from one settlement to the next, just trying to keep out of sight. Now that I'm on the other coast, I feel much safer. The family across the way from us seems pretty decent. Their kid, Brian, likes to play with my son, which is great. It's hard for Will to make friends because we haven't stayed in one place long enough. Maybe we can finally put down some roots here in Grey Ditch. Okay, so that was the first one. So we read the first one and the last one. And it told us absolutely nothing. So there y'all go. Was there a safe or something? Maybe it was out back. I don't know. I assume this key was for, like, for something useful. I've been wrong before, but... Ain't nothing back there. Is there anything upstairs? No, this place cashed. Alright then. That leaves us only one thing to do. Also in the last two episodes, besides finding that key, we found a uh, pair of naughty nightwear. Uh, we found it last episode, and then we killed that dude over it. And now... We're looking for a dude to give it to. Mr. Ronald Laren? Are you in? Nope. I don't know what this quest is. I'm just hoping I get paid a decent sum of money for it. Let's go ahead and check this out again. Notes. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to What's Ronald Laren? Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. Okay, so where's everybody at? at an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. You in here, Mr. Laren? By a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. Sierra Petrova does the name. Hopefully, they won't find Good you to too. see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. Uh. Yeah, of course. Well, come on then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka Cola until the end of the tour. Okay. When Nuka Cola was invented by John Caleb Brabison in 2044, it quickly became the strange. world's most popular soft drink. 
This is very strange. Guess we're taking it though. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following, which prompted the Coca Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. So, do we kill the truck? You know, move along now. Fox is currently just trying to do a thing. Fox. Fox, please. I'll get those at a later time. Really, Fox? Uh, step out. And then step back in. Hang on. The tour's not done yet. Be patient. Your ice-cold Nuka-Cola is only moments away. Okay. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka-Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. Actually, I prefer whiskey, but that's just me. And that's a nice As purified promised, water. Here's a little pick-me-up. An ice-cold Nuka-Cola. I already had ten. Just but. look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka-Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka-Cola Quantum. Well, I've heard of it. Right before the bombs Even fell, the good folks bunch. at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum. It was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste. Wonderful. Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give it that extra kick, the formula this called for a mild uh, isotope. I don't know what I got myself into The effect here. was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue I call light. more of a purple, personally. Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, okay. it does have the unique property of making your, um, your pee glow. Getting that blue piss going. I love the stuff. I can't get enough of it. I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka-Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more. Okay. That's right. You bring me Nuka-Cola Quantum, and I pay you. Handsomely, I might add. For every bottle you bring me, I pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. But if you're super cool and find, like, enough bottles to fill my Nuka-Cola machine, 30 and all, I've got a super secret cool prize for you. So we gotta find 30 Quantum. Oh, okay. I have a schematic for the Nuka Grenade. The only one in the whole Capital Wasteland. Bring me the bottles, and it's yours. Or, Imagine the or look on the target's face just get that when perk, they are burning the alive in an effervescent explosion of cola and fruit so flavors. I learn all the schematics so, instantly. So, what do you say? Will you bring me the bottles? Oh, you know goody! What I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. All right, yeah, I'm just looking for Ralph Hurry or back. whatever the hell his name was. Hey, pal, what were you doing in Sierra's place? Um. Yeah, you know, I was checking out the collection. You were checking out. I don't like guys messing with my woman. Oh, yeah, she didn't say anything about you well, two being together. Well, that's likely because it's none of anyone's business but ours. She's Yours, one maybe. Hot lady, though, am I right? What are you driving at, oh, bud? You are as naive as you look. I can't see you because of fox. Oh, but what I are you doing here? Put it. I'd love to do the horizontal bop with her, you know, plower bean field. Come on, kid. <laughs> Dude. Seriously, plower bean field? The fuck is this, the 50s? Oh, wait. All right. New to this stuff, huh, kid? Well, let's just sure. say that she has something I want to get a hold of. That's where you enter the picture. Go on. I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, 
you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka Cola for her. She'll melt in my arms like butter. How about you? I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. You devious bastard! I didn't figure you hey. were that clever. Never mind. All right, all right, double it is. Just bring me those <coughs> bottles. If I have to listen to Sierra ramble on any longer, I think I'll blow my brains out. So you gonna do it or what? Yeah, sure. For a double. You might. Good. I'll see you soon then. Okay, so that's strange. So we have to find the cold quantum. Bring it to him for double, but Ronald Bring me Lauren. some quantum, I hope. Um. Grady? Maybe. Why are yeah. you asking? You look very raiderish yourself. Found him dead. Holy crap! That son of a bitch took my caps and ran, and now he ends up dead? No, I'll never get that package. Holy crap! You have it? Holy crap. Well, hand it over. I've been waiting over a year for that damn thing. 300 caps. Fine, fine. Anything to get it. Here's your caps. Now hand it over. All right, yep. He's Good. Then stop gawking. Okay, so. We came to Gerda Shade. We gave him the nightwear. I thought that would have been a tad bit more exciting. But now we have to get Nuka-Cola Quantum from this lady, for this lady, and then give it to him. But why I still get my schematic is the question. That is the question. Well, that looks like some Enclave shit over there. Let's go check that out. Anyways. I was, yeah, I was hoping that Nightwear thing might be like an ongoing quest. You know, like you have to deliver it to somebody at least. Something. Ow. Hey, worry about your death claw. Ah. I'll worry about the death claw. Oh. Shit. Okay. This is the guy I want. Go ahead and cripple that leg. All right, now let's go ahead and take care of this. No, no, no. No, no, no. Right there. There we go. So these guys is enclave. Shit. What the hell? I ain't clicking no goddamn robot. Hey. Get off my damn dog. What's your issue over here, friend? Just these robots left? Go ahead and take that. Leave the Tesla armor. Hit three to move faster. Even though. Wrong ass game. I was going to just lay it into this dude. Stop throwing missiles at my damn dog. Will you? Shit. Alright. Surprise attack. God damn, that plasma thing went for forever. Get those missiles. Missiles are the best currency, ladies and gentlemen. They are definitely the best currency. Go. Let's go over here. Enclave crate. Let me take it. Officer died. Strange. Alright, so these are where the death claws are at. And that's one of those little enclave camps that carry death claws and robots, I guess. Are they still finding somebody over here? What the hell? There's a death claw fighting a robot. That's for damn sure. Although I think the ro the death claw won. Alright then, buddy. Yep. 
Yeah, the hell you think you're gonna do, huh? You're gonna get your damn leg shot out. Oh! Howdy. Yeah, I don't play that shit. Good. Take all that. So yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode, I guess. You know, we searched the Brandis house, didn't find shit. We uh, came over here, we got our Nuka Cola quest, which I guess we'll just do passively. And we got the uh, Naughty Nightwear turned in. And then we fought off a bunch of Enclave people. I mean, that's not bad. Just kind of a throwaway episode, but whatever. Next episode, I will find us something good to do. I promise. Yeah, Fox, if you wouldn't mind actually, you know, helping out instead of doing some sort of weird square dance over there, and that'd be great. I mean, I didn't, I didn't ask you to follow me just so you could dance over there on a rock. I mean, look at Dog Me. Look at Dog Me. He fought off two death closets, an enclave guy, a couple of robots. What the hell were you doing over there, man? What the hell were you doing over there? Alright, whatever. Anyways, yep. That's going to do it for me this episode, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you liked the video, then feel free to tune by for the next one. Thank you.